continuing on, once you have the system, there's some basic things that you're going to need to do the install that you can get ahead of time. These are your basic hose to NPT fittings. So you, in this particular system, you need a three-quarter NPT on each side, one for the pressure, one for the return line, and that'll be to the hose barb of your hose size. Then you're going to need three NPT half-inch fittings, and those will also go to your, your hose barb size, and they're basically going to install in, in this method. Um, you're going to need probably a crescent wrench, um, channel locks for those that uh, are brave enough to use them without turning things around, um, screwdriver to pry the hoses loose, something to re uh, loosen the hose clamp. Now within this control panel on the back there's a package that has two fittings in it. One is actually a pressure fitting um, that goes in our adapter like this and the other one is actually the union and it has two compression fittings that will go on the ends of each hose to connect those when we get ready for that point. So it's very important that you do uh, track where this package is. It makes it very difficult. They're not off-the-shelf items that you can get at the hardware store. The next critical thing on your assembly, which I already have the fitting in, it always put the pressure fitting into the first solenoid valve. That's where that pressure fitting is going to go, and I'll explain more when we, when we finish doing that. Then my pressure, um, the, the pressure line uh, to hose barb goes into that. And then, as I said, you assemble the three fittings, and then you would put your return line on this pressure regulator. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting these on, snugging them up and orienting them, and then we will continue on with the assembly onto the bar. Texas Industrial Remcor, quality valves and controls today and tomorrow.